Eight flights to Yemen are being held back by logistical problems, as violence in the country continues. Saudi airstrikes have been targeting Houthi rebels for almost two weeks. The International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, was given permission to land planes carrying staff and medical supplies, by a Saudi-led coalition on Saturday. But the flights have been unable to depart, according to ICRC spokeswoman Claire Fegali. The UN says more than 500 people have been killed, as the Houthis battle forces loyal to beleaguered President Abdrabba Mansar Hadi. We are still working on getting the plane to Sana'a. It's a bit difficult with the logistics because there are not that many companies or cargo planes willing to fly into a conflict zone, Ms. Fegali told Reuters. However, she insisted she had high hopes that 48 tons of medical supplies would be delivered by tomorrow or the day after. The Red Cross is also trying to deploy a team of surgeons to the battle-torn city of Aden, but said that authorizations from all the parties involved were necessary before this could happen. The ICRC spent a week negotiating with the Saudi-led coalition over deliveries of supplies. It has called for a 24-hour ceasefire in Aden, while Russia has also urged the UN Security Council to support a humanitarian pause in the air strikes. Explosions on Monday shook homes in the suburbs of Aden, one of President Hadi's last strongholds. At least 53 people died in 24 hours of clashes between rebels and pro-government fighters. AFP reports. Food, water, and electricity shortages have also mounted, with residents pleading for help to feed their families. Student Nisman Usman said, We have lived three days of horrors, gunshots everywhere. A political consultant in Sana'a, Hisham Alamazi, told the BBC that he was skeptical that the Red Cross aid flight would go ahead. The Saudi coalition announced this several times before that they will allow the ICRC to come into the airport but that hasn't actually taken place, he said. So for us, the residents in Sana'a, we'll believe it when we see it. We need fuel, we need food, we need a lot of different stuff, not just drugs and two flights is not going to do it. Meanwhile, Pakistan's parliament is holding a special session to debate whether to join the Saudis and their allies. Defense Minister Kawaja Asif said the Saudis had asked for warships, aircraft, and soldiers. Pakistani aircraft rescued 170 people from Sana'a on Sunday. Countries including China and Egypt are planning evacuation flights, while Russia and India have already airlifted many of their nationals out of the country. President Hadi was forced to flee Yemen two weeks ago, as the rebels advanced on Aden. The Houthis have said their aim is to replace his government, which they accuse of being corrupt. They are supported by troops loyal to the former President Ali Abdullah Saleh, who was ousted in the Arab Spring protests. Saudi Arabia says the Houthis have military backing from regional rival Iran, which denies the allegation.